Hello Birdie, today I have a pretty amazing HID lamp video that I've been wanting to share with all of you. As you can see by the title of the video, yes, I have acquired the model that was used at Denver International Airport off of eBay. This particular fixture was used inside of the Denver International Airport concourse train system for over 30 years. And as I'm speaking right now, a lot of them are getting replaced with LED fixtures, wall packs, unfortunately. Speaking of wall pack, that's what the fixture is. And I'm going to be reviewing the fixture in just a few moments. So anywho, yes, like I said, this fixture that I acquired off of eBay for $60 was used at Denver International Airport inside of the automated people mover inside of the concourse train tunnels in the northbound and in the southbound tunnels and of course crossovers so anywho let me go ahead and show you the fixture as you can see this was the fixture used at denver international airport inside of the concourse tram tunnels so anywho this particular fixture right in front of me is a GE wall lighter WL400 model, 150 watt high pressure sodium wall pack, better known as the Denver Airport wall pack, because this fixture here was used in the Denver Airport automated train system for over 30 years. And like I said, as I'm speaking, a lot of them are getting replaced with LED wall packs, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and take a look at this fixture. So of course we have our front. This is what the fixture looks like all together. So as you can see, it's pretty big. Here's my hand and my arm. Look how big it is. It is huge. I did not expect this fixture to be so big. So anywho, here's the side for one of the metal conduits right here. This is for installing a metal conduit in case if this were to be installed on, you know, a building or something like that. Here's the top. As you can see, there's another one of these metal screws to install, you know, from a conduit and stuff like that. And here's the right side. And this used to have a screw on the side, but however, I'm using this for my power source. So anywho, it's a pretty simple three-prong wire because this, this fixture only draws three amps if it's on 120 volts. And what's really nice about this fixture is that it's a multi-volt. It can operate four different voltages, one of which I'm using right now. So, anywho, that's our power cord right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up the fixture and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I just opened it up, and as you can see, it is a pretty clean looking fixture. This is a new old stock, so it's been in storage for like 15 years at least. Because this particular fixture here was manufactured in April of 2008. So, pretty old fixture, but still fun to have as a collection piece, you know? It's pretty amazing, and I apologize for the unexpected buzzing in the background. That's my air condenser unit and it is pretty loud. I just made a video on it, so go check that out if you like. So anywho, here's the inside of the fixture. Here's our very nice big glass refractor. And of course, it's attached on the door. So here is how the door is held. It's being held by two machine screws, which I might actually replace with better ones and also It'll also include nuts as well, so that in case if I were to service this fixture, the door wouldn't fall off. So, anywho, there's our glass refractor and our door. And right here is where all the magic happens. This is where all of our light is coming from. So here is our very nice and very shiny reflector. As you can see, it is pretty dang big. So, right here we have our socket, which is an E39 mogul base socket, which can withstand up to four to 5,000 volts. So, there's our socket. And nothing too much around here for like, you know, 
on the inside when you're basically servicing these fixtures. So now I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the reflector off. This screw takes everything off. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the reflector off and we'll be right back to show you the components. All right guys, so as you can see, I have just unscrewed the reflector off and of course I put it like that. That's what you typically see when viewing the wall pack. You'll only see the refractor and of course the light reflecting off of it. So anywho, here is the inside of our fixture. So here are the specifications of the fixture itself. As you can see, apologize if it's not focusing, here is our model number. And of course, as you can see, the lamp wattage maximum is 150 watts. And as you can see, 60 hertz. And you can see the line voltage that it can take. It can take 120, 208, 240, or 277 volts. And of course, right here is when it was manufactured. It was manufactured in April of 2008. So there's that. And of course, our line amperage of how much amps that it draws when it's on a specific voltage. It draws 3 amps if on 120, 1.7 if on 208, 1.5 amps on 240, which is obviously double the amount of 120, and of course 1.3 amps if on 277. So as you can see, the lamp that it takes is an S55 high pressure sodium lamp. And believe it or not, I have four HID lamps um, relating to this fixture here. I have four 150 watt high pressure sodium bulbs that this fixture can take. However, one of them is actually a cycler. So, of course it says not for use in dwellings, caution before installing or operating, read, you know, institution or, or something like that. I don't know what that is, but anywho, our minimum supply wire is 90 degrees Celsius supply wire, and that's pretty much it. And of course, here is a data sheet of how to wire this fixture up. So there's that. So now let's get to the components. So right here is our oil filled capacitor. As you can see, it's a pretty old capacitor, but you know, it has never been used before. So pretty awesome. Right here is where the reflector is held. Right here is a terminal set so that it's easier to wire instead of using wire nuts. You may notice that there is no wire nuts used in this wiring sequence, so pretty nice. Anywho, this right here is our 120 volt line going in and our neutral white. And right here is the ballast. As you can see, it's an old kind of ballast because it has, you know, the terminal sets and it has, you know, a pin kind of thing. And it basically cannot be, you know, you know, wired in directly like newer ballasts like these. This is a newer ballast here. Well, this one here is way older. So as you can see, the way it's, you know, hooked is via these little step wires things or whatever the heck they're called. I forgot the name of it. But anywho, that's the ballast right there. It's a, I believe it is a high power factor auto transformer ballast. And right here is our igniter, which ignites the lamp, gives it a 4,000 volt pulse to create our light. And it's one of the older kind of igniters. You may notice you can see all of the various components. You can see a diode right there and some more components that I definitely do not know the name. So, yep, here we have an old style kind of high pressure sodium igniter. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool looking igniter if you ask me. But they don't last as long as typical or newer igniters do. But, anywho, there's that. And I believe that concludes the inside of this fixture. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. All right, guys, I just put the fixture back together. 
pretty simple fixture to put back together, if I say so myself. So, anywho, I believe I have a bulb that I can use to test this fixture with. So let me go ahead and grab it. All right, guys, I have a bulb that I can use this fixture with. This particular bulb that I'm gonna be using is a Philips Alto 150 watt mogul-based high pressure sodium bulb. So let me go ahead and install it and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I just installed the bulb in my GE wall lighter WL400 150 watt high pressure sodium wall pack. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close up the door. And after that, we will fire it up. Alrighty guys, I got the bulb installed and I shut the compartment door. So now I believe it is time to fire this fixture up for the very first time. So without further ado, I got my power all hooked up to this power strip and we are just about ready to flick it on. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time and fire this fixture up for the very first time. Here we go. So I believe the fixture has reached its maximum brightness level. And look how bright this thing is. This thing is super bright. So again, this is an amazing fixture and I'm so glad I got it because these fixtures are not going to be around whenever I make future Denver airport train videos for all of you guys that have been following my channel. So let's go ahead and see what this lamp looks like when it lights up this room here. It mainly lights up the ceiling because of how the reflector is designed, but look at it. It is so bright in here. Look at this. It's quite effective, very effective. And again, amazing fixture, and I am so happy I got this. So, anywho, I really hope you enjoyed this video of this brand new old stock GE WL400 wall lighter model, 150 watt high pressure sodium wall pack, better known as the Denver Airport Train wall pack. 
So, and if you enjoyed the video altogether, and if you also enjoyed the commentary, then please be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.